What's up YouTube? On this episode of Mad Ginger Customs, we do a car rebuild on the Flathead V8 that was stuck for 50 years. I show you what a tragedy looks like when we do a compression test and we find out just how many cylinders it takes to actually run a flathead versus how many it has. And then I'm gonna show you triumph. I'm gonna show you guys what victory looks like when we get it going the way it's supposed to. Let's go. Uh, what we got going on today is uh, hopefully a real quick compression test. Uh, I pulled the carburetor off this thing because I'm gonna rebuild it. So we got a nice open trout to pull some air into. Let's get these plugs out of here and uh, we'll, we'll test it and we'll see how we do with it. All right guys, uh, most Fords that I know of are passenger side one through four driver's side uh, five through eight uh, unlike a, a chevy obviously let me turn you around there we go so we're gonna pull them one by one and we're gonna we're gonna flick it and then we're gonna write down the results and we're gonna go from there and hopefully uh, i'm sure there's gonna be a stuck valve i'm not gonna be surprised if there's a stuck valve i'm expecting it because it does chooch a little through the carburetor when it did run and if you guys haven't seen that video go back and watch the will it start we also got a video of my wife climbing through the back seat of this rotted pig trying to bust open the trunk it is hilarious if you guys haven't seen that you should check that out all right so throw the compression tester on it i already got the loser switch hooked up because Frankly, I have no one to help me, which is the story of my life. Actually, the last one, my wife helped out quite a bit. You guys seem to like that. You guys seem to like when my wife helps. I think it's because she's prettier than me. I don't know. Urgh. Okay, so here we go. I haven't used this thing in a hundred years. I don't even know if it works anymore, to be honest with you. But. Hands out of the way. Car is not in gear. Somebody mentioned that in the last video. Did you check to see if it was in gear? Yeah, I'm not gonna turn over a car that's in gear. That's okay. So here we go. We'll do it together. I saw 90 on it. It's bleeding down, but it, oh, it's loose here. It's loose at the, yeah. I just saw 110. Okay, so we're gonna go 110. This seal isn't great, but I mean, if it's got a stuck valve, we're most likely gonna see zero, right? It's gonna chooch it up, push it back through the intake side. So we're gonna throw 110 on our sheet. This is a very high-tech recording device. Eh, 110 in number one, perfect. All right, here we go, hands free, watch the fan. <laughs> Nothing. So we got a dead hole in cylinder two, we know that. All right, cylinder two is zero, muerte. I do not have a head gasket set for this yet. So, we're gonna piss a lot of people off. Like, man, you guys in the comments are brutal. I had a guy, some old, he must have been 100 years old. He's like, what kind of ham-handed mechanic are you? You shouldn't have tried to start the motor in that car. You should have pulled the whole motor out and dissected it to make sure it was good. Like, dude, I, I wouldn't watch that. That's boring as hell. Plus the fact, I don't care. This car was $600. She's like, oh, that's a... A fine automobile. Have you seen have you seen this car? Did you see what my wife climbed through? This car's a piece of garbage. It has the potential to be cool. But it isn't yet. Alright. Cylinder number three. Survey says. Hands free, everyone's clear. Oh my. Cylinder three is also dead. Ah! 
That is not good. Not good. I do not like it. All right. We may have our work cut out for us. So a lot of, another thing you can do, just as easy, stick your finger over the hole. There, there's nothing. There's li literally nothing. So I got either a stuck valve or a giant hole in a piston. Well, maybe the piston snapped right off the connecting rod. I, I don't, I don't know. Probably shouldn't even be putting these plugs back in, but I don't want it to do any damage from the weather. And uh, I guess I'm pulling these heads this weekend. Before we do anything, I guess we should just stick our finger in it, right? That's... <laughs> That's zero as well. <sighs> Man, how did this thing even run? So you got zero on two, zero on three, zero on four. Great. Before we do anything, we might as well just do the finger test because I'm wasting everyone's time. Everything is clear. Fire in the hole. <clears throat> How did this thing run on three cylinders or less? How's that even possible? This has nothing. I'm gonna hook the gauge up for you guys anyway, cause I want you to, I want you to see. I mean, obviously, man, that's not good. How many stuck valves can I unstick? How many stuck valves unstick and not be broken? All right, let's just do it for the camera. Here we go, guys. We're watching our arms. Well, that's disheartening. <laughs> Look, it was off the road for 50 years. Was it pulled off the road because it had stuck valves? I don't know. Did it, was it off the road because it had no compression and it was a, just a pile of junk? Who, you know, like the guy I got it from is not the guy who put it off the road. So he's like, I, I don't even know. And then again, d d does he know? And he's just telling me a story. I mean, hey, look, this car, I'm not hiding anything from you guys, was $600, right? It's not a big deal. If I get you guys a couple videos that you can laugh along with or cheer on with, that's great. You know, is it worth that much in parts? This motor does move and turn. So for someone, it's worth probably putting money into if you're a flathead guy. Oh, see, I can tell this one is working. And I'll tell you why. Come here, I'm gonna come over here. Let me get you guys in here. Look at this plug. This plug is sooty. See that? And it, so it must have fired. So I'm assuming this cylinder is going to have compression. So we are on cylinder six. We already know that five is zero. <laughs> okay, so technically we only have compression in one cylinder so far. That, that is, that's, that's very, that's a losing proposition. Let's put, let's put a finger in it. Oh yeah, you hear guys, you guys hear that, right? Poof, she's ready. She's, she's, she wants to go. She wants to go. So here we go. I might have to zoom you guys in on this thing. About a hundred. All right, so we got two cylinders right now that have compression. Not great, not terrible. I'm having a hard time. This thing ran off a of two cylinder, so I'm hoping the other two, she ran on four. I'm halfway there. So, cylinder six, 100. All right. Oh my God, zero. Oh, come on! Did this thing run on, did this thing run on two cylinders? Oh man. Okay, none of this is good. It's not looking good for the Rotbox shoebox. 
Flathead V8 Revival. I'm gonna lose half of my my small my small amount of viewers are are leaving currently because they're like, there's no way you're gonna run that motor. And I'm not watching nothing that doesn't have a flathead in it. You guys are super loyal to your flatheads, I'll give you that. Man, that plug does not look like it fired. <sighs> Did this thing run on two cylinders? Man, I'm really kind of depressed now. Jeez, Jesus H. Okay, so. I'm tired, boss. This car ran on two cylinders, and that's it. And. Well, I think I'm going to be sick. I ordered a lot of parts for this. That's miserable. Okay. So zero and zero. All right, guys. So this is what we got working with and having it run. It ran. You know what? I'll give it. I'll, I'll give it to the flathead. This thing ran on two cylinders. Cylinder one had 110. Cylinder six had 100. So this thing was just dumping this crank back and forth. So what we're going to do this weekend is we are going to pull these heads off because at this point I, I have nothing left to lose. Today what we're going to do is we're going to use this Harbor Freight ultrasonic cleaner. We're gonna use some pine saw. We have a, a walker repair kit. I believe this was from Rock Auto or eBay or Amazon. And we'll just use a couple toothbrushes, a couple screwdrivers, and we'll do the best we can getting this cleaned up. So follow along. Hey guys back um, we run a bunch of cycles on this um, use the toothbrush uh, scraped at some of the larger stuff with uh, you know the tip of a flathead you know nothing crazy you don't really want to beat these up obviously it's aluminum and you're gonna end up scratching the hell out of it but as you can see the pine saw does a pretty decent job, you know, for what it is. This thing is, uh, you know, I don't know if this is a replacement carburetor, it doesn't appear to be, it, it does say Ford right here, but you know, this cleans it out pretty good. It's back together. Uh, it's not great, but it's better than it was. I think it's gonna work just fine. Uh, everything moves, accelerator pump feels like it would be accelerating and uh next time i see you we're gonna get it on the car and we're gonna hopefully uh fix some of those issues that we were discussing earlier um with compression so i already pulled the plugs out uh we gotta pull one heater core um hose one i need heater hoses where we're going That stuff is literally rock hard. Terrible. Um, wow, look at that. Okay, that's... Okay, well that would have been an easier way to do it. We could have went like that. So that's junk and... That's junk. We'll pull it right off of there. Hey, look, we're, I mean, we're just making more room. All right, let's hit these things. This thing weighs probably 63,000 pounds. Gonna pull the hernia back out. I'm gonna take that all the way out in case she slides. And then runs into my valves that are stuck open. 
there was a gentleman in the comments in the last video that uh, says, oh, I'll take the car. Where are you? Wow, sir, you are you are uh, aggressively forward. I like that. You, you know what you want. And apparently that is a rotted 1950 board shoebox. You guys could like and subscribe. That helps us out. And throw some comments down. Tell me what you think. Tell me, you know, if you knew right off the rip, you're like, look, buddy, you were never, ever going to free that motor up. Because a lot of people are like, there's no way you're going to free that motor up. Well, I mean, I did. Um, and it did run. And we had compression on two cylinders. So a flathead will run on just two cylinders with compression. That itself, to me, is crazy. Come with me if you want to live. Coils all hung up. Yeah, we should just make a new line for this. Or we'll just make a rubber line. We're gonna crack, crack these things. We're gonna find some stuck valves. We're gonna fix them. We're not gonna break them like Sir, Mur Sir Mordecus does. Just kidding, we are going to probably break them. Alright. Alright, here we go. I'm not a very strong person anymore. Back in my younger days I was. Oh, that's not even heavy. Alright. So this is what we got. I mean... That's a water passage. We don't care about that carbon buildup. I mean, yeah, of course. That can be all cleaned. We'll surface it on the driveway just by scratching the crap out of it. All right. This is debris. I'll have to get the vacuum in here. So, what are we looking at here? Cylinders now have a metric F ton of dirt in them that's dumb of me um we do have all kinds of valves up don't we that does not turn okay so that one does see this is the only one that moves this one so we get, you gotta find out which one is supposed to be where and why. I'm gonna have to vacuum these out. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, it's a little bit of a ridge. Nothing crazy though. Cylinders feel fine. I thought they were gonna be absolutely massacred. I don't think there's rust in here, guys. I think if I think if we can free up these valves. I think it'll it'll turn over and run. All right, let's work on that. We're gonna we're gonna soak her. Now, okay, this has some type of corrosion in it. I can see that, but it's not terrible. Well, I was I was looking for a brass punch, but I can't find one. So, I got a nylon head and a rubber head. I mean, if I hit it square with a, with a drift or a, a punch on the top, and I just hit it dead center, it really shouldn't push the sides out, right? Let's see. It's already moving. Already seated. Well, that's that's promising. Let's see if we can't roll it over. Or maybe we can just knock them all, and I'll just keep working them back and forth and back and forth, and we'll just keep throwing a bunch of luby dube on them and see if we can't get her to do something else. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I, I've never done this before, so I don't know what really I'm doing. What is this? Seven eighths. Okay, one's all the way up. 
pushed out a bunch of crap. Probably not good for the things, but we'll vacuum that out. But these are both down. And our number two valve came back up. So we know it moves. Let's uh let's get some more spray in there. And I don't even know really know where I'm spraying. I'm just kind of spraying. So let's bring around the rest. We're gonna bring around it, bring it around until I can see one of these other ones. And we'll go from there, I guess. All right. Okay. Technically, technically, we got one cylinder that may be back in the mix if that valve goes back down, right? All right. So, number three is top dead center. So, again, looks like the intake valve stuck. So let's... Uh, Let's just give her a slight little tippy tap. That's not looking to go anywhere. This is super promising. Let's keep moving. Let's bring four up and we'll see what we can do with four. Okay. So. Let's give four a tap. Oh, right away. Four is a winner. All right. All right. Okay. Awesome. You hear that? That plunked right down too. Or kind of went down with a plunk. Oh, it'll go. Yep. Okay. So I guess I can give it a tap. I'm so afraid to break this. Wow. You do not want to cooperate. That's that. That intake valve here should be down. And it's not. Hear it? She went. She went. You know who's really good about answering my questions and I'm not, I'm not even lying to you? The boys over at Custom Shoebox on Facebook. It's custom with a K. If you guys like shoebox stuff, I'll tell you what, those guys have been great to me. I, I probably ask a lot of questions because I'm kind of green about this. And those guys are super helpful. I couldn't do any of this without those guys. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I hear water. Oh, it's got antifreeze in it on this side. Okay, right off the rip. We see number five, right? Pistons all the way up. Intake valve stuck open. We're gonna we're gonna do the same process as we did before. We're gonna juice her with the curl oil. I already know this one works because it's the only cylinder. Six was the only cylinder that had compression. So we're gonna go ham with this stuff and really get her in there. Give everything a good soaking. I'm gonna need more of this stuff. Might have to send the wife out. Oh, and I, I see that you guys like the wife in the comments. That's nice. She she appreciates that. She's a hot ticket that one. I don't know why she tolerates me honestly, but she does. She's a she's a she's a keeper. She's a saint. Okay, this seemed to work better without the drift, without the punch. So let's just try to get on square. Oh, perfect. Dude, it went right down. Did you guys hear that? Dunk, 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 dunk. Perfect. I should hook up a battery. And we should do this in style instead of struggle busting it with a ratchet. Left handed. Perfect. Dropped right in. Now, is that going to seal? I have no idea. But if we free it up and this thing, you know burns it around a few times, gets a little heat into it. 
maybe it, maybe it will seal. It doesn't look like it's down all the way. That's okay. All right, let's move on to eight. So what, what do we know? We know our nemesis is number three. Number three is clearly the problem. Number three is probably why the car was parked. Well, we don't know that. It might be that the transmission or the rear end's blown, but hey, look, we take the wins when we can. I broke it free. I made it run. Who knew it was on two cylinders? I didn't know that. It sounded like more. You salty girl. Oh, she plunked in good that time. All right. Might have a little bit more respect for her now. All right, here comes eight. Here comes eight. Cylinders don't feel terrible. Probably egg shaped. Okay. Okay, she's up. Oof, that one's tight like a tiger. Bam. Like it's like it was its job to go down. Nice. Here comes five. And five has let me down yet again. Get in there. Come on, Mr. Five. Yeah, she snapped back after that though. Five is sticky, but she plunks right back down. Maybe if it had some heat and some RPM in it. <sighs> Guys, I'm just gonna be keep doing this for like an hour. So I'll be back when I got them all going. Well guys, uh, I've resulted to playing whack-a-mole. My hands are destroyed and my Shoulders are killing me from trying to turn this thing over. Um, this thing's pumping out oil like the Exxon Valdez. How dare you! But I mean, I'm just bumping it. And then I'm whacking number three intake valve and number eight intake valve. Everything else moves on its own. So I bring it up. All right, guys, here we go. Here's the result of way too many hours. Obviously, we gotta clean these up. Watch this, they all go. Now, are they gonna seat? <laughs> you know, look, 
beggars can't be choosers. They actually, you know, got a little bit smarter and, and I put the uh, oil filter housing back on. But watch them go. That is a win in my book. So we're gonna get all this cleaned up. We're gonna either copper coat the old gaskets just for, guys, just for now, don't freak out. You guys are always freaking out on me. You can't do that. You're, 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 you're ruining everything. Okay, dude, it's a $600 piece of garbage. Okay, so what do we know? We know all the valves are free. We know they are closing. Are they seating? Eh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe once we get some heat through them, uh, once we can get it to fire. I got a carb rebuilt for this, so that should work. Um, we're gonna either copper coat the gaskets if I can get them off in one piece, or I'll just have to have you guys uh, wait, and I'll, well, you guys won't wait, but I'll wait, and you guys will see it, you know, next day. So we're gonna get right back at it. We are running out of light quickly. I thought I was done for the day, but I'm not. So I took the old Cheek Poker Deluxe, which sent shards into my pants. And I cleaned this head up a little bit. You know, it had so much carbon. I just wanted to get some of the carbon out of it. Um, it's not perfect. But <clears throat> like I said, we're going to cheat a little bit. And I, I know you guys are going to be upset about this. And I mean, hey, so tell me in the comments how angry you are. I am going to spray some gasket maker. This is like probably 15 years old. I'm assuming it still works though. And then we're going to put these heads back on. So I'll do one tonight and just rest it on there. And one tomorrow, cleaned up the surface in there just a little bit, you know, cleaned up the surface inside there just a smidge. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this head gasket, which I prepped properly. This has a, an ample amount of brake clean on it. Oh yeah. I'm like Picasso. This, this can't be good. This stuff's all chunky. Whatever. Guys, I'm gonna get gaskets. I promise. I'm not, this isn't just the end of this. Definitely gonna get gaskets. Relax. I just want to see it run. I want to know. I want to know that it's going to be okay. Before I spend all, all the money. Maybe we'll get a little bit on the front of the car and it'll preserve it because it's a rot box. Uh, you got to get heavy. Yeah, I really got to get it in there. This is where the overspray counts. The wind's blowing that way. Oh, we got to run. So that means that that's going to seal delicious. Perfect. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, no. Ah, oh, well, that's the end of that. So I'll have to get a can tomorrow. All right. I'm assuming this goes back in like so. Where's all the old guys in the comments telling me what an idiot I am? I love you guys. Man, there's an old guy in the comment last... Oh my god, that guy was a savage. Ham-handed, he said. Who says that? Do old people say that? Ham-handed? Ham-handed. I mean, I guess... Whatever. I like ham. Does that count? All right, why won't this stay where I put it? There it is, there it is, don't breathe. Nobody move, sit down. Oh, this is things a tragedy. Where's the brake clean? There it is. See, we're gonna refurbish this right now. Refurbishment, cement. Oh yeah, dead new. I 
did vacuum out the other side of that. The brake clean brings a like brand new status again. I don't have any clean towels, so we'll just bang this one off. Do you guys hate this yet? Do you guys hate me yet? Come on. This is fun. Stop it. Stop screaming at your phone or your computer. Unacceptable condition! Unacceptable! Or whatever you're looking at me through. Just stop. Stop yelling. I can't hear you. It wouldn't stop me anyway. Oh, there's a lot. Of... Should we leave that in there? Yeah, probably not. Oh, it's in the cut. It's in the cut! Ah. Good lord. Ah, that's how you find them. Look at that one. That was a good one. See that? Break clean found that one. I didn't even know that was there. Alright, so. Here we go. Alright guys, we're back. Hopefully this is the, uh, the last day I'm working on this thing. Jesus, tap dancing Christ, is this thing ever gonna end? to uh, at least determine, is this a viable power plant? Y you know, everybody in the comments, I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate all the direction, the opinions. I'm, I'm really working hard to keep this thing in the picture. And I know that's what you guys want. So we've gone, you know, we pulled the heads. We're, we're busting valves free. I think if this thing's got a shot. So this thing runs, we're gonna pull everything off of this thing, head intake, we're gonna clean it all, we're gonna paint it all. Um, we'll wire wheel the whole thing down and, and put all new gaskets in it if I know that this is what we're working with. And guys, thank you for, for pushing me to do this. I actually really enjoy working on this. This is actually a very simple engine. Um, fortunately for me, it came apart real well, which is really weird because everything on this car is like a tragedy as far as rot goes. So uh, we're going to get right after it right now and um, I'll get you guys set up so you can see what I'm doing. All right, guys. Uh, first thing we're going to need to do is torque these heads down. So obviously I, I, I didn't torque them down with the impact gun. So they're supposed to be 70 foot pounds. So let's get them close and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, we're back. So this is the carburetor I cleaned up in that video. It, it, it seems like it cleaned up okay. I'm, I'm not a carburetor expert. I would never tell you that. But, I mean, it. the accelerator pump actually felt like it was pumping in the first video when we got it to put on the on the um on the couple cylinders so i obviously i changed everything i got a like a straight up nascar style fuel cell in this hog now high flow clicky clack pump this is a boat tank that my father-in-law gave me into a filtro that says to to carb to carb maybe is that Spanish? Nope. Zip tied for safety. We got a little bit of hot wiring here. We're gonna go to the battery. And what we're gonna see is, does this carburetor seal up? Who knows? So you're gonna find out with me. Be right back. All right, guys, here we go. I don't know why I'm so nervous to do this. It ran before, it couldn't run any worse, could it? Well, I guess it did. Or not run at all, and then this video's a flop. You guys laugh at me. Why are you guys laughing at me all the time? Please stop, it's not fun. All right, uh, I got a clicky clack hooked up. That's ignition power. This is clicky clack power. Actually, you know what? We're gonna leave the clicky clack off. Maybe I can, no, I can't. I gotta, I gotta leave it on. What am I going to do to pull this off if this thing lights on fire? Hmm. I could pull the positive cable. Nope, it'll still run because this is hooked up. Decisions, decisions. How big of a fire do I want? I think it's okay. I don't think the carb's leaking. Those front screws look a little tough. Screw it, we're going for it. I got a fire extinguisher right next to me. Just in case, because, you know... Screw it, here we go. 
Oh boy. That sounds like distributors out, doesn't it? Let it. Oh yeah, distributors 180 out. All right, boys. We're gonna flip her around and we'll be back. All right, try number two. Just flipped the distributor, pulled it out, flipped it 180. Uh, we'll see. It looks like the bowl screws are leaking Oof. on the uh, carb. That's okay. For, for now, it's okay. I don't expect that to make a big difference. All right, try, take two. Well, that was positive. Guys, look at this. It's it's not smoking at all now. I mean, that's just residual. This thing sits here in hers. It's a big kitty, she says. All right, super happy with this, guys. Thanks for all the suggestions. I'm glad we stayed with the flathead. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Mad Ginger Customs. I appreciate every one of you, all your comments, all of you pushing me to put this flathead back in service. I battled with valves longer than I care to admit. Um, but you saw it. The thing just sits here and purrs. The longer it runs, the better it gets. It's, it's hardly smoking at all now. My wife comes out and she says, she saw this giant plume of smoke and she's like, oh my God, but I heard it run. She goes, I've heard on YouTube, just because she smokes don't mean she's broke. And she's right. So we got her running. I'd like to thank all the Ford Shoebox guys custom with a K shoebox on Facebook. I really want to thank Mortski Repair. I watch Mortski Repair on YouTube. Um, I would have never thought to tap on those valves to square them away, knock them back down slow. Um, I've seen Tom break a couple off, but I mean, what did I have to lose? I had six dead cylinders in this motor, six. This thing ran on two. Now it sits there purse like a little sewing machine. It's, it, the longer it runs, the better it gets. Obviously, when I rolled it forward, the brakes were a little locked up. It did spin a tire. Um, the transmission does go forward and reverse. The clutch does work. Obviously, the brakes are wasted. So what we can look forward to with this car, right? Sheet metal work, a given, right? Floors, we're not ripping all the floors out. This is not a concourse restoration. A couple guys have said in the comment section, look, it's, it, it's an old beater, right? Street rot it hot rod it, fix what you can, maybe some license plates, some sheet metal, and, and you know, fancy it up, maybe lower it a little bit and, and drive it and beat it around. I, I, that's probably the direction we're gonna go. I can't afford every single body part on this thing to replace. I'll do the best I can with what I can make. Um, I really, the, the, the will it start on this video well, it was huge for us as a channel. We just started doing YouTube. I wanna thank every one of you. Um, as of right now, it's 90,000 views plus. Um, Jess's clean out video guys if you have not seen the clean out video of this car you have to watch that my wife is a trooper army crawling through you know rat pieces and old you know uh, rotted floor into the trunk I mean she did an amazing job so I hope you guys subscribe I hope you guys watch our videos I hope you comment let me know if you're angry and you want me to do something different with the car or if you just want to you know, say, hey, I'm, I'm glad you stuck with it. We love to hear and we respond to almost every comment we can. A lot of the times there's a lot. We're gonna take a break on the shoebox so I can get some parts. So we got a lot of other cool stuff to work on. So I, I hope you guys stick around. I hope I hope you like the videos. I hope you like what, what we have to build. Um, we have a 64 F100, that, which is Jess's truck. Now, Jess really earned her keep on the shoe box. This is Jess's 64. It's a 292 Y block truck. When I got this truck, when I brought this truck home, the engine, uh, the right side of the valve train was in a box. And uh, the guy promised me it ran. So I put it all back together. And, and it does. And she wanted steelies. So we put new tires on it. It's got four wheel drum. We're gonna convert it to power. Uh, drum for now and then we're going to eventually go to power disc um, we're going to recover the seat what we already did was we put a three-speed floor shifter in it for her she did not like the column shift we threw a tack in it overall this truck is pretty decent the bed not so great this was a brush truck for a fire company you know it had a tree fall on it right here she loves that she's like i just want to scrub it down and Put some shine juice or some patina sauce on it. Uh, we'll have to find out who's who's selling what. We also have this International 1210. I bought it from the same gentleman. Wheels were locked up. I picked this up with my son and dragged it home. I thought it was a cool rig. I love it because there's not a whole lot of them. It needs the bed's decent. So inside. I just threw this mat in it because it's pretty disgusting. We did buy some parts for it. I really didn't spend a whole lot of time working on it. So does it really need a will it start? I mean, not really. I, I know I could get it running. It's a three quarter ton Dana 60. And then we got the 66. The 66 is a 302. I converted it to an AOD. 
stuff I bought from a gentleman that converted a Mustang to a five speed. This truck, uh, the floors have been patched. I did some work on them. The previous owner did some work on them. It still needs, you know, a bunch of work here. It's got a Mustang shifter. I'm gonna build like a street rod style console for it. I think we may make this a short bed because this is a long dong right now. It's got dual stainless exhaust I put on it. So this one actually is registered and insured. We drive it. Wheels are used, tires are used. You know, some cheapo Kylie style mirrors, I like that. So guys, let me know what you wanna see. Let me know what you wanna see. And we're gonna try to give you the content that you want. And uh, I'm going to try to get some projects done in the meantime. So um, please like and subscribe. And um, thanks for watching.